found us actually Jesus set us free from this fear of death well Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 14 says because we are men living in body with flesh and blood God also came into this world as a man in a body with flesh and blood why because God is a spirit John chapter 4 and verse 24 says God is a spirit he does not have a body like us with flesh and blood and so that is why Jesus came into this world as a man living in a body with flesh and blood and Jesus the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 14 the Bible says Jesus through his death he destroyed him who had the power of death that is the devil yes friends when Jesus died on the cross as an atonement for our sin at that moment at that moment the, the power of the devil over our life was destroyed yes Jesus destroyed the power of the devil over our life he made the devil powerless he made that he made the power of the devil to become zero <laughs> now the devil has no power his power is zero <laughs> that is why in Matthew chapter 28 and verse 18 there the Lord Jesus says all power in heaven in heaven and earth belongs to me so if Jesus has all the power then how much power that does the devil have zero yes friends he has no power. Jesus has made the devil powerless. He has destroyed the power of the devil over our, over our life. So friends, now the Bible says that is why the devil can no more put us in bondage through the fear of death. He, can, he, he has no more right, right over our life. Why? Because Jesus through his death has now delivered us he has now delivered us from the fear of death amen yes friends through jesus death on the cross of calvary through his blood we are now completely delivered from this fear of death that that held us in bondage all throughout our lifetime we are now delivered amen so friends today believe this truth believe this truth that 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 the bible talks to us in Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 14 and 15 and as you believe this truth as you believe that Jesus came down into this earth as a man and now through his death he has destroyed him who had the power of the devil the power of death that is the devil when you believe that now you are delivered from the fear of death you are completely delivered and now that fear the, 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 those thoughts you know that always come into our mind that only thinks always failure. That only always thinks about the curse. That always thinks about, well, God is punishing me for this. God is punishing me for that. God doesn't love me. All those, you know, negative thoughts, you are delivered from it. Why? When you are delivered from the fear of death, those negative thoughts begin to get away from your life. And now you are filled with the thoughts that God loves me. God loves me. He forgives me. He, he accepts me. He will never cast me away. God, God's blessing is upon my life. These thoughts will begin to fill your life. And you will be filled with confidence as you go about doing the things of your life. Amen. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we come before you, Lord. Father, we thank you that today from Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 14 and 15 you taught us the truth how we are delivered from the fear of death through Jesus Christ thank you Heavenly Father first of all that Jesus died on the cross for our sins and when he died on the cross he destroyed him who had the power of the power of death the devil and now he delivers us from the fear of death thank you Lord I pray that this truth of God as your children are listening to this truth of God, I pray that they will be delivered from all 
symptoms of this fear of death in their life. I pray the, all those negative thoughts of failure, all those thoughts of uh, always about curse and, and, and punishment filling their mind. I pray that they will be delivered from it in the name of Jesus. And I pray that they will be filled with the thoughts of your love, with the thoughts of your blessing, that you, will, that, that you favor them, that you will bless them, that you love them unconditionally, that you are gracious towards them, let th that you are kind towards them. Let these thoughts fill their life. And I pray that they will be filled with confidence, with new confidence in life. And that I pray from this day that the days of failure will come to end in their life in Jesus' name. And the days of success beginning everything they do in the name of Jesus I pray. Amen, amen. God bless you and bye-bye.